Hello, Nevada Virtual Academy. Proficiency exam is knocking on the door. Let's see what are we dealing with in this case. Problem number 91. Which equation best represents the part of the graph shown below? And you have A, B, C, D options here. And before you can do or you should do any calculation, just by looking at your graph and noticing that it's a curve, right? you can eliminate two of your answers a y equals 1.75 times x that's a linear equation not good c y equals negative 1.75 x linear equation not good and now you have to compare y and i mean y from the, the b option and y from the from d um, and as you guys notice in b i have positive 1.75 x squared so basically for every x that I'm getting your y should be also positive right if x is positive y is also positive and it looks like it's the same the same case in my graph while on D it seems that my graph will be giving me an output that will be negative and always negative regardless what x I'm inputting in right if my x is positive here my y will be negative and why is that so because you know your x regardless if is negative or positive when you square it will be a positive number but because you have a negative sign in front will always be negative so your y will always be less than or equal to zero if you want well that means that my function will have a graph that will be pretty much like this you know for this uh, d function here and unfortunately or fortunately enough the graph that's given to me does not look like that so i can eliminate d as not a good choice and the only one left and the only one that will be the good answer for this problem will be B for obvious reasons. All your Y's are positive and for the given graph here or X is positive, Y is positive, B could be a possible candidate as a function that describes the given graph. That's it.